have these lucid dreams where I can move up. I'm lost in the way. It's me, Rebel here, and welcome to another video from my channel. So today, we're going to make a haul. Yes, a haul video of the books that I got from Shopee. So yes, kaya po ako naka-arrange in support to Shopee. Shopee, 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 Sh
yun lang, di ba? At least warning na yung sinabi ng president, di ba? May sinabi yung president to closing GMP. So, at least na warning na lang yun. And, yeah, before I proceed to my books, kasi supposed to be at the last part kasi itong GMP run ko. Pero, ayoko kasi mahaluan ng negative. Although, nahaluan na because of this part, but I want it na mag-change yung mood. So, that's why I answered this, okay? So, thank you. Let's go with the video. Now, so some of these books, I have already read them, but some I wasn't able to open them yet. But, I'm not going to tell you what the book is all about. Siguro, counting synopsis lang, and then why I wanted to read these books, okay? So without much further ado, let's start with this video. So all of these books that I got are only from two sellers. So first is, um, these books comes from a seller from Iloilo and then these books are from Anvil Publishing. So yung mismong publishing company na nagpublish ng mga books nito ah, in order and go. So let's start first with this book. So please don't judge me. These books are actually for grade 2 to grade 4. So I know that's kind of funny kasi hindi naman sinasabing pang grade 2, pang grade 4 lang talaga. But yung reading skills na kinini dito is for grade 2 to grade 4. So the story about me buying these books is before when I was around grade 6 or grade 7, we went to a national bookstore. Mommy and I went to a national bookstore. And then I was scrolling to the sec through the section where there are a lot of books. And then I saw this on sale. And then it was really cute and alam mo naman, pag bata ka, gustong gusto mo yung mga mararaming pula. And me, I love colors. So I asked her to buy this for me. It was around 300 pesos. And then she bought it for me. And then after a while, as I bought it, I did not read it. Then I was able to open it and I discovered that it was actually a book about an adventure. So... This is Hieronymo Stilton and he is actually a kind of a writer pero parang ano lang siya, mouse writer. Pero may totoo talagang writer and then yung parang kinaracterize niya na lang yung self niya si Hieronymo Stilton. And then my sister si Hieronymo Stilton which is Thea Stilton and then this Thea Stilton is a teacher and then she has five students which named their group after her which is Thea Sisters. So, parang magbabarkada sila ng mouselets. And then, every book is about a story about different country. And the first one that I got is, ito, matanda na to. Sinali ko na lang talaga siya sa video so you would understand why I bought this book. So, this is actually a adventure in Netherlands. So, about a story of a tulip haze because tulips are, or high breeding of tulips is very popular in Netherlands. So, mahilig talaga sila sa tulips. And then, marami talagang tulips doon. They export from different parts of the world. So, that was something that I was able to learn from this book. So, apart from that, I really love this book because ang ganda ng grammar na ginagamit dito. You would learn new words. So, a lot of words that are new to my ears came up here so that's why I was able to extend a little bit of my vocabulary so yeah yun haba naga adventure sila sa Netherlands fini feature nila ang different uh, landmarks of its capital city which I forgot and then may naglalagay din sila ng mga trivia and informations uh, like this like a map of Amsterdam yes Amsterdam yeah Amsterdam a map of Amsterdam and then map ng Poland which is a province where Amsterdam or a region where Amsterdam belongs to. So, yun, ito yung matag pinakauna kong books and then eventually I discovered din pala na marami siyang books kasi nasa likod niya is ito. So, yan, meron pa silang ibang books. And then, yun, that's why. This, I've been wanting for the longest time to buy the other ones, which I wasn't able. But this quarantine, nakahanap ako ng seller na nagtitinda. And some of these are actually secondhand or pre-loved ones. And some are brand new. Kasi may iba talaga kasing paubos na yung stock. Especially those editions na gustong-gusto ng mga readers. This is a 
journey to the lion's den it is a story about an adventure to kenya so uh it's still a mystery so lahat to siya is a mystery and then parang sino solve ng group nila which is the Thea sisters this is the big trouble in the big up this was a trip to new york and yon new york some other adventures nila is the different states of usa and the star castaway this is a story about them going to the moon so yeah meron yung ganyan. and the ghost of the shipwreck and it is actually a story two stories in one book so it was about them in their local area which is called new mouse city so may isang treasure na hinanap sila sa under the sea and then they also went to China to discover something about a treasure or like that. So, yes, and then next is in the Spanish dance mission. So, this is actually from Spain. They yeah, adventure nila from the, from the title, the Spanish dance mission. And next is in the dancing shadows. This is a story about ballet, comp a ballet competition in Italy. Yes. And then next is. The Legend of the Fire Flowers. So this is a trip of the group to Hawaii. Taya Silton in the Cherry Blossom Adventure. So this is an adventure from Japan. So dito naman gusto gusto ko tong book na to because I was able to read it already. And then yung ang dami kong nalearn tungkol sa Japanese culture and the different landmarks and how they were able to manage the development, but still. Because as we all know, Japan is very advanced when it comes to technology, um, especially the artificial intelligence, which they focus on to robots. They even have a hotel that are all the staffs are robots, and they were still able to cultivate and continue to practice their culture. So then, makikita mo dito na you will be able to understand how they were able to manage that. And the next is. It is the last uh, Thea Stilton book that I have, and the mystery in Paris. So about the Paris, this is actually a fashion mystery. So that's all the Thea Stilton books that I I got. I ordered in total nine books, and I have already one. So it means I have ten Thea Stilton books. I still have thirteen to collect. So yon. Actually, the fact na gusto ko siyang basahin, the feeling of collecting them is also part of the drill. So yeah. So next, these are the books that I got from Anvil Publishing. So eto talaga yung mga real books na. Ah, wait. This is actually a free freebie na binigay ng seller. Actually, yung seller ng ng Thea Stilton is a very young girl. I think 12 years old pa yata siya. So while I was calling her and talking about the books that I'm going to order, ah, uh, andun din yung kausap ko din yung mami niya. So they give me a freebie. So it is a Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Actually, ako yung pinapili nila and I chose this because ito lang yung nakakarit ko. Kasi yung iba cooking books na yun and I'm not that interested with cooking books but I'm interested with cooking. The next book is, these books are actually more on psychology and a little bit of politics and something about culture, uh, no, culture. Yes, a little bit of culture and history. So first book that I got is Is This All There Is? Why Purpose is a Journey and Not a Destination by Nelson TB. So ito is, I really, I only, I was not planning to buy this, but I saw this while I was scrolling in the store. Ah, ba't pa kayo nakuhulo? So nakita ko lang siya sa store so yon pinili ko na lang siyang bilhin because i really wanted to read it the title pa lang niya it's very inviting so i'm very excited to read it and hindi ko na nabasa yung synopsis niya but ang nagandahan ko sa book na to is it really is teaching a lot of things kahit isa scroll mo lang kasi may mga quotes kasi siya wait i'll show you some i'll show you some quotes uh, like this. Yeah. So let's read it together. A passion geared toward the good of others enriches your purpose, deepens your satisfaction, and amplifies a sense of meaning. So yun lang, ang ganda ganda niya lang. And then, may mga coach siya. Pagka hindi mo siya babasahin, may matututunan ka na. 
And then last, I share ko din to sa inyo. So ayan, you can screenshot it. If we are to achieve something of value, it is something that is worth longer stretches of our time. If we simply dabble in something, the result will always be mediocrity. So this is actually very true. Because for me, I really think that things that last long are the things that are took long to achieve. So siguro talagang sa life, sometimes people deal with instant things. But at the end of the day, um, it will always be about the things na pinaghirapan mo. Because, you know, share ko lang ha, just to insert. Because, um, I re uh, watched this video and then a guy was telling a story about a mother and a child. So, a child was undergoing through adolescence. So, it means he, she was only, she, yes. She was only 16. And then, nag-run siya always siya. siya, siya uh, she always sa mom niya because she is always telling her mom that, Ma, why don't I, I have a boyfriend? Why don't I have a uh, cool friends? I don't have uh, a lot of money. And why don't you give me more money so I could have a lot of money to spend on things that I want. And then, as she was ranting, her mother was only giving her a smirk. So, then she told her mom that, Mom, Parang hindi ka naman maayos ka usap, so why don't we just um, eat na lang? So she asked her mom, Mom, can, can I have ramen? And then sabi ng mom niya, Oh, eto, tas binigyan siya ng instant noodles. So sabi niya, Mom, I wanted ramen. Why did you give me this? Tas sabi niya ng mommy niya, If you want ramen, you'll have to wait. So that line that, If you want ramen, you'll have to wait. So although instant cup noodles is anjan ka agad, instant, but when you think of it, when you learn to wait, diba, sa ramen, it's more healthier. Although, yes, noodles is cup, instant cup noodles is good, but still, pang madalian lang. Hindi siya, hindi niya, hindi niya mabubusok. So, same goes to the things in life, same goes to the things that we owe ourselves to achieve. Kailangan din siyang paghirapan each and every day. We need to work for them, give all of our dedication, give pour our heart on it, and our time to be able to achieve. So, yun lang. No, di ba? Ang dami ko nang na-learn just by just scrolling into this book. So, I advise to invest on reading. So, next book is medyo mabigat-bigat siya. So, it's Mindanao, A Journey, A Long Journey to Peace and Prosperity by Paul D. Hutchcroft. Oh, yeah. As the editor. Yeah, so, ayun. So this is actually a book that tackles about Mindanao and the existence of wait, what do you call that group? I don't want to uh, actually it tells about Mama Sapano incident, about BDL, endless delays of things and Yun lang talaga, yung mga kaguluhan sa Mindanao. So, across more than four decades, the conflict between national government and Muslim liberation forces in southern Philippines has killed ten thousands of displaced millions to landmark agreements under the presidency of Benigno S. Aquino III, the first in 2012 and the second in 2013. So, it is, it, yun nga, it tackles about the conflict between Muslim liberation forces and the government. So, medyo makakabasa ka dito ng mga laws and mga mga human rights na bring ng both sides. So, I'll show you yeah, ito. ito. So, I'm, hindi ko pa siya nabasa but I was able to scroll it a little bit and ang dami niya talagang information. And then, it even yeah. Ito yung peace process. So, nandiyan, naka-extend siya sa mga so, Yeah, that's why I love this so much because it is about Mindanao and we are Mindanao and we are in Mindanao. We, no, we are not Mindanao. We are Mindanao and we are in Mindanao. Sorry. So, yun, I was... I'm so excited to read this because, yun nga, it's about Mindanao and I love being informed. We should be. We should all love to be informed. Yan ang sisimula yung pagiging better citizens natin if we are able to educate ourselves with the things that are happening around us. Okay? 
So now, next part, uh, next part. So now, next is, this is the book that I've been wanting for the longest time. So it is entitled, Subversive Lives, A Family Memoir of the Marcos Years, Susan F. Kimpo and Nathan Gilbert Kimpo. So this is a book that is about a family. So, isang buong family, ang, ang content nito ay from different members of the family of the Kimpo family. So written as a family history, subversive life furnishes us with powerful testimonies of the era of Ferdinand Marcos and Jose, 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 Jose Maria Season along with narratives on the ver vicissitudes of the revolutionary Oh my god, this word is hard to read. Vicissitudes of the revolutionary movement. Each Kimpo siblings bears witness to the events they and other did so much to shape. From aborted attempts of, to smuggle weapons for the NPA to heavy times organizing spontaneous uprisings and general strikes in Mindanao. Actually, this is a book I saw in Janina's video, Janina Vela, because I'm a big, big, big fan of Janina Vela and I'm an OG Vela fan, so that's why I always um, updated with her and then I never get tired repeating her videos. So, yun, she was actually into reading a year ago, she started reading books and then she recommended to buy this to her videos. So that's why I was really interested to read this because iba talaga daw to. Actually, as I was scrolling it, it talked about. I've read words like UP and then how about different names. Ang dami na mention dito, but I'll show you a little bit of. Si a picture. Maybe a picture. Ah, uh, wait. So, ah, ito. Gusto ko to. Yan. So, ayan na. So, a story of a family na, if I'm not mistaken, parang, ano sila, nahi, pinahirapan sila, and then, yun nga, as I've said, different testimonies from different family members. Parang nakakumpile siya dito lahat. So, 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 sila yung naging mga witness, and then they put it in a book. So, if you wanted to know more about the Marcos time, and a more... Uh, subjective view yung sa tao talaga nang gagaling I advise you to read this to invest on this book because this is very very wonderful to read no? I tell you, you would be amazed with all the things that you can read from this so next is hindi naman yata hindi na talaga siya book na book pero para na lang binili ko na lang din sila because wala gusto ko silang Gusto kong malam kasi soon I'm planning to study at Luzon, so yun lang, capital city natin diba is Manila, so I saw this and it was very cute and ano naman talaga ako, basta colors, I really get attracted easily, kahit pang bata pa yan, papatusin ko yan, bibilihin ko yan. So yun nga, it is about uh, Manila, so it's called Good Morning Manila, magandang umaga Manila, written by Yvette Fernandez. Illustrated by Guhit e ni Nicole Lim. So actually, hindi ko inexpect. Akala ko mga poems or somehow informations about Manila. And then the other one is Good Night Manila or Magatang Gabi Manila, written by Yvette Fernandez Still and illustrated by Guhit ni Nicole Lim. So itong dalawa na to, uh, yun lang talaga. Nainteresado lang ako kasi because, kasi because ano ba talaga? Kasi I wanted to know more about Manila because yun nga, I've been planning to study there and hopefully I'll be able to know more things about Manila through this. So, ito lang. Ito lang naman siya. Parang pambata lang siya. Pang, pang display lang to sa kwarto. Pero siguro may makukuha ka naman din. May, maku may makukuha ka talaga actually, di ba? So, it tells about Quiapo and then kids playing at Quiapo. So, wow! Hindi kasi ako nakapasyal ng Manila. I went to Luzon already but I wasn't able to make pasyal to, my, to Manila. So soon maybe I could go there after COVID-19. And last but not the least is eto. So this is a comic book. Yes. Comic book but tama ba ako? If I'm not mistaken. Ah! Mahulog na naman siya. Pasyal niya. Nagbibisit na ako dito. Ah. So, it is actually a comic book about Nole Metanghere and Elfa Lubis Turismo. So, before I had a book 
Kasi before um, in our school, may, may lumang library and then siguro nilimisan nila and then they throw a lot of books and uh, we were just like we were just like shouting kasi ang daming magagandang books and then bata pa kasi kami elementary that time at ARPS Ped Center so sabi ko, kita namin ang daming nasusunod ng books and then I saw on the side kasi parang sa ano parang sa dump site dump site yung parang may hinukay and then doon nila sinunog yung books kasi gusto din nilang malinis yung mga down so napakasayang noon for burning that but I don't know what's the reason bata pa naman kami that time so we called it local na, uh, the local bookstore diba national bookstore so we call it local bookstore kasi nga nakakuha kami ng maraming books so I was able to pull a no limitang here na yung old style na book talaga napaka old yun talaga and then hindi pa nga how do you call that font that you use in books now so I don't know what's that, what that font is called but yun hindi pa siya ganun yung old font pa naging nagamit parang typewriter I'm not sure pa tapos nawala po siya or someone borrowed it but did not return it so when you're borrowing things return it pero siguro man nakakalimutan din minsan minsan ako nga nagbabarrow ako ng things or unintentionally totoo hindi na return pero pwede naman kayong maningil kung may mga gamit kung hinawakan nyo pa okay I'm very open to that. Kasi may mga ibang tao pag siningil mo sa gamit mo, sila pa yung nagagalit, girls. Sila yung gumamit. So, ayun na nga. So, this is the Nolimitang Herit book. So, or the comic book and then El Folo Bistaris mo. So, before I end this video because this is the last one uh, of this haul. So, Few novels have made a more shattering impact on the society in which they were convinced and read the Nolimitang Hire and Alpha Lubit Turismo of the Filipino national hero Jose Rizal. And surely no writer paid a higher penalty for self-expression. Rizal was executed by firing squad mainly because of these two books now revered by his country as the Gospels of its nationalism. So that's from the Nolimitang Hire. And now is another from the El Fulubisterismo. The Philly, like the Nole, is more than a political novel. It is a romantic, witty, sometimes satirical portrait of a colonial society at the end of the 19th century. Leon Maria Guerrero in his introduction to his translation of El Fulubisterismo and Nolimitang Hire. So ito. Parang hindi na naman siya exactly, but translation na siya. So, yun lang. I'm also wanted to read this. Kasi nga, nakakalulang basahin yung... No uh, in actually, hindi ako naka-under teach ng teacher ng sa Filipino sa junior high school na pinabasa talaga thoroughly yung No Limit Angere. So, you know, we need to get informed about it. Hindi siya masyadong mabigat sa pakiramdam basahin. So, it's more relaxed because it has images and it's an interpretation so parang maki ma mas simplified na ang view ng messages ng no limit ang at El Folo Mysteries mo dito so if you want to invest on this also um, Anvil Publishing so that's all the books that I got so ito na yun lahat yan so ito na lahat yung books na nabasa ko and then I'm really, really happy on investing on these books because I was able to learn so much. Just the fact that 20% palang ng books yung nabasa ko, and I was able to learn a lot. And especially, I get to practice my circulation ng utak ko. Oh, yung circulation ng utak ko. I was able to practice my uh, brain circulation kasi nagi insert ako ng information. So kung mag Re-return na into normal and then magka-classes na ulit. So, hindi ako magbibigla. So, hopefully, you also do the same. Try to read and review or maybe advanced reading. So, you you will be able to, you know, prepare yourselves. Kahit maging online man yung classes or face-to-face. -face. So, that's it for today's video, guys. So, thank you, thank you for watching. And I hope that I was able to educate you, uh, to educate you guys again. So, I hope that I was able to share enough information about this book. And then if you want to know more about these books from me, maybe uh, after I read them, I will create a video. You just feel free to request if you want me to talk more about the books and ano yung mga lessons na makukuha mo when you get to read this. So 
eto lang uh, I've been having fun reading because first and foremost it taught me to be more patient kasi ako I'm the type of person na gusto ko talagang instant yes kahit sino naman siguro mas gugustuhin natin yung pangmadalian but eventually you would learn that patience is really a virtue it is an essential virtue that we must really practice kasi pag nagre-read ka um, hindi naman sa uh, kung pagko-compare mo siya sa movies or videos sa videos kasi when you see people moving nakikinig ka at nanonood ka ma ma maaano mo na siya like mahuhulaan mo na how the how the story goes but when you read a book you get patient because you do it step by step page by page word per word yung binabasa mo so it will teach you to be patient and then while you are reading if you're a silent or gusto mong kahit mag-isa ka basahin mo nang malakas diba you would be able to learn new things you will be able to extend your vocabulary and you will be able to you know improve grammar because this uh, books di ba ang books chinichat na naman yan with their grammar so wala na yung grammatical except for those nakako okay so yun lang I really had fun because it is very educational kahit anong books pa yan or tama ba yung sinabi ko May, pero hindi talaga every book kahit anong klase ng book yan meron talaga siyang meron siyang certain benefit na mabibigay sa iyo. Basically, yun talaga yung patience and then extensive vocabulary and then grammatical na uh, yes, it will improve your grammatical skills. So, I hope that in this quarantine you will try to invest on these things, especially things that you did not have done yet because sa time na ngayon hindi naman tayo makakagawa ng mga bagay na gustong gusto natin especially like gala so hindi natin magagawa yan so might as well use our time on discovering new things about ourselves discovering new things that we can learn and we can just basically so I hope that you will utilize your time and discovering new things about yourself and of course take time to grow take time to pray take time to read take time to learn because learning should never stop just because school wala nang school so diba meron pang school guys meron pa Mag, gusto kong mag-aral huwag kayong ganyan so yun nga so I've been wanting to do this and now I was able to do it and still continuing so eto lang may question ako sa inyo so what is your favorite book so far? Ang favorite book ko so far is yung... Wait, I'll get it. So, my favorite book so far, hindi siya kasali sa binili ko now, pero mat matagal na to siya actually. It is beyond imagination. So it talks about the story of creation, and then hindi siya yung the story of creation itself, but an interpretation na ng mga nagsulat or the writer in here. So yun lang. Uh, I'm really happy because it made me realize what are the purpose of the, those things around us. So yeah. So I hope that you enjoy this video and. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and comment your answer about my question. What is your favorite book? And then another question is, do you like reading or not? So basically, my answer for that is yes. So you know the drill. Again, please do like, share, subscribe, and press the bell button, especially when you are new, so you get notified every time I upload a video. And yung laway ko. So yun lang, and I hope that you utilize your time on doing and discovering things that is actually you would like and you would have fun. So, yun lang for today. I hope you enjoy this video. Take time to discover new things. Utilize your time with something productive and continue learning and never stop seeking for knowledge because when you seek for that, you will earn a lot of knowledge and then eventually it will strengthen and grow you as a person. So, bye-bye! I love you and you're the arch of your keel. I always be on fleek.